Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem 14 from University of Maryland High School Math Competition. This is a competition that I run every October. So let m be a real number that is not equal to negative 1. Consider the quadratic m plus 1 x squared plus 4mx plus m minus 3 equals 0. Which of the following must be true? The first one is both roots of this equation must be real. The second one is if both roots are real, then one of the roots must be less than negative one and the third one is if both roots are real then one of the roots must be larger than one we want to understand whether the roots are real or not we will have to look at the discriminant so the discriminant is b squared minus 4a times c this gives us 16m squared minus 4 times m squared minus 2m minus 3 Okay, so for simplicity, we're going to factor a 4. That gives us 4m squared minus m squared plus 2m plus 3. We want to see if this quadratic is positive or not. If it is positive, then both roots must be real. So this is 3m squared plus 2m plus 3. This quadratic is in fact positive because one way of saying that's positive is that we could complete this square here. 2m plus 1m squared and plus 1 that gives us m plus 1 squared and then we're left with 2m squared and then plus 2 so this is always positive it means both roots are in fact real so the first one is always true okay it means it can't be c but in fact we'll have to check the rest of them now the second one tells us that if both of the roots are real which we know they're always real then one of the roots must be less than negative one. For that, I will start writing down the Vieta's formulas. So Vieta's formulas tells us the sum of the roots is negative b over a, and the product of the roots is c, which is m minus three over a. Now I would like to eliminate m from the two equations. One way of eliminating m from the two equations is to add them. So you would get x1 plus x2 plus x1 x2 equals negative 3m minus 3 over m plus 1. And of course if we factor negative 3 from the top, we are going to get negative 3 here. So that gives us a relation between the two roots. If you add 1 to both sides, we get x1 plus x2 plus x1 x2 plus 1 equals negative 2. We can factor the left side. So that would be x1 plus 1, x2 plus 1 equals negative 2, which is a negative number. That means one of the two parentheses must be negative and the other one must be positive. Okay, what does that mean? That tells us x1 is less than negative 1 or x2 is less than negative 1. And it also tells us that the other one must be more than negative 1. So that, in fact, matches the second one. If both roots are real, then one of the roots must be less than negative 1. Now let's look at the third one. It says, if both of the roots are real, then one of the roots must be larger than 1. So is that necessarily true? Well, not really, because you can take x1 equals 0 and x2 equals negative 3. And if you do that, you'll get 0 plus 1 times negative 3 plus 1 equals negative 2, which does satisfy that equality. Now let's see if there is in fact an m that satisfies this. So it is possible for some m that gives us 0 and negative 3. Well, in order to get 0, we need m to be 3. So if you plug in m equals 3, the equation becomes 4x squared plus 12x and then plus 0 equals 0. So one of the roots is 0 and the other root is negative 3. Neither of them are more than 1. It means this one is in fact false. So the answer is 1 and 2. And that brings me to the end of this solution. To check more problems like this, subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video.